much cheering since I saw the boys and Berry Boys perform live in Sugar Apple City. Today's the Big Berry Ball Championship. Berry Bitty Bombers! Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Berry Ball. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You've been all over the world and never heard of Berry Ball? I've heard of Bean Ball, Banana Ball, Broccoli Ball. I don't personally care for Broccoli Ball. Why, I even once played Bok Choy Ball in the jungles of Plantain Province. And let me tell you. <laughs> later. But if you've never heard of Berry Ball, then you're in for a treat. Look! <laughs> hey! Let's see some bustle and the hustle! Wow! And this is just a practice game. Wait till tonight when they play for the championship. This town is gonna go gaga! Gooseberries! Berry Ball is a blast! I want to play! Apple, wait! All right, team. Huddle up. Tonight's the night we have dreamed of all our lives. Why, since I was just a wee barrican and stood ankle high to a baby grasshopper. And seriously, I did that on a regular basis. Excuse me? I have looked up and wondered to the towering berry ball heroes of the past. I mean, sure, they weren't actually all that tall, but... Excuse me? My point is that all our lives, we've been waiting, practicing, dreaming about this day. Remember your training team. Remember your dreams. And let's mash our opponents to a pulp! Yeah! <laughs> What is such a big emergency that you had to interrupt my big speech? I want to play! A video of me making a winning goal would look great on my very best bits page. Oh, uh, well, I'm sorry, Apple, but... Now I know what you're thinking. She talks tall, but can she move the ball? Well, <laughs> you are looking at the all-time high scorer in fig football at the Mount Philbert Championship. But... A quarterback Kiwi kickball in the Kumquat Keys. But... Why, I was even goalie once for the Jelly City Jammers. It's not that. You see, berry ball is for barricans only. It is? I'm sorry, but you just can't play. I can't? That's the rules. I don't make them. I just enforce them, and... Barrican Brand! You call that hustle? I've seen slugs with better hustle! Sorry, Apple. I gotta... That is not the Berry Bitty Bomber way! Okay. I guess I'll just stay out of the way. Mosey off. <laughs> this is me. Sleeping. It's so hard to think about anything but Berry Ball. I'm so excited. I know. But meanwhile, we've got a full day of things to finish off. You're right. I've got to concentrate. This will not be easy. You guys ready to dance? <sighs> as ready as we'll ever be. Sweet sugar snap peas. Dancing? I love dancing. Oh, can I dance with you guys, huh? Um, well... I mean, I've danced a lot of places, but never here. A video of me dancing Berry Bitty City style would sure look great on my Berry Best Bits page. You see, Apple, we're not just dancing. This is a ballet class. And I know what you're thinking. Got the grooves, but does she know the moves? Well, I once danced with the Melon Men of Mango Mesa. It was a bright, moonlit night on the moors of Mango Mesa. The bongo beans had just begun beating the boogie-woogie beat when all of a sudden, from out of nowhere, I just... <gasps> hey, wait up! I'm sure you're a great dancer, Apple. It's just... well, this is really going to be a challenge. See? This is a black ribbon ballet class. It's the highest level. We've all had to work our way up. Ah, <laughs> fiddle fruit. I can figure out anything. This'll be a piece of pie. Or easy as cake. Oh, you know what I mean. And we'll arabesque, glissade, tour jeté, Pas de beret, pirouette, and chene off. Got it? Errol who? Arabesque. Glissade. T 
Tourjette. Potabaray. Pirouette. And Chene. And next. You're welcome to try my other ballet class. It starts right after this one. Oh, yeah. What color ribbon do they wear? Baby blue. <laughs> Stuck in a class with a bunch of babies. Don't be old baby blue ribbon. Prance and Peach Pits. I've danced all over the world, but no, I can't dance with the big kids. Oh, goodness, no! Please, no walking on the berry ball field, if you don't mind, dear. Oh, sorry, Berry Can Bloom. I didn't mean uh, to. Now, off you go now. <laughs> Everyone will be showing up today, expecting my field to be pristine. I thought they were showing up to watch the berry ball game. Oh, that too, I suppose. Uh, but please steer clear, my dear. Uh, shoes leave footprints. Unless you've got some kind of magic shoes. <laughs> magic shoes. Yeah, right. Wait a minute. Magic shoes! your groove from the Berry Web's very biggest database of dance moves. So get up, my little groove booties. Let the boogie fever flow through you. Strawberry said I could live with her does not mean we can walk all over her furniture. And now, for the final test. Woohoo! Bye-bye, Baby Blue. Just wait till they see me now. You. You're a regular dance master. Yeah, that was awesome. But how'd you get so good so quickly? Oh, well, uh, I was so busy thinking about Mango Mesa, I forgot all these sweet skills I picked up in, uh, Dancelvania. Yeah, and I hadn't stretched yet, see? <laughs> and you really can't dance without stretching, am I right? Oh, well, got more dancing to do. Can't stop till you drop, as we dancers always say. viewers on my Very Best Bits page. Today I'm in the very exciting Berry Bitty City, where I'm bringing you all the latest and greatest dance moves. Just watch me go! <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I got the moves. Look at me. I'm a dance machine. <laughs> Woohoo! They love me. <sighs> that's enough for now. Dancing is fun, but it sure can be exhausting. Now, all I gotta do is go home and upload this video to my page, and I'll be a very bitty worldwide sensation! <laughs> Okay, look 
Pinka. Now to upload my smooth moves and post them on my site. Hey, wait! Stop that, you groove booties! It's not even music! shoes, but shoes that were dancing? Uh, well... Apple. Okay. I made some groove booties to help me dance better. I didn't want to dance with the baby berrykins. I wanted to dance with you guys. Only, I kind of took a shortcut. But those shoes aren't even on your feet. Yeah, they kind of do their own thing when they hear a beat. Actually, it's pretty impressive when you think about it. I mean, boy, those things can find a beat in anything. Reminds me of the bouncing blueberries of Grapefruit Grotto. Apple, the shoes! Oh, yeah! I do sprinkler timer, you see. My playing field will get just the perfect amount of tender, loving care it deserves. Oh, goodness, no! Not of my beautiful grass! <laughs> say beneath the peaks of Mount Kiliman Jelly Jar. Worry? Why worry? Our troubles are all behind us. This 
this is where it all happens, fellas. Let's score those goals! There they go! Second quarter! Look! Here comes Barry Kim Bruce! Lucky Logan berries. It's half time. Uh oh, that means half time show. <laughs> this isn't funny. My lifelong dream is falling apart. What do we do? What do we do? We need to figure out a way to get those dancing booties from Barry and Bruce and turn them off. Mushmelon, I'm cured. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You see, I did that dance on purpose. Phew, I'm sorry my groove booties ruined your big game, Barry Can Bruce. No harm done. The score is even, and we've got half a game to go. And it's time to go! Thanks for your help, Strawberry. No problem. But we better keep these on ice. ruined it. Well, hopefully you learned your lesson. All I wanted to do was what everyone else was doing. And, okay, maybe show off a little along the way. Come back to dance class. I think this time you'll like it. With all those babies? No way! I know the baby blue class isn't advanced enough for you, so I decided to create a new class between beginner and advanced. Hot pink! Oh, boy! Sour Sweet and Blueberry have already signed up. This is going to be great. I'm going to start practicing my dance moves for real right away. Well, the 
excitement's over. I've got a whole year to heal this poor field and get the grass ready for the next game. Berrykin Bloom? It's definitely one of these. Oh, watch out! Oh! Oh. Oh, here it is. Well, do you think it's the vacation brochure you've been waiting for? Uh, well, you see. You must be so excited. Finally going on a vacation. Well, actually, uh, I'm not going. You... Aren't? Well, I decided it was more important to buy these special berry seeds, so I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait! Don't you want to see the new issue of Very Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll uh, take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin Bloom, and he seemed. Not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of... Um, sad. Oh, no, I mean... Look! The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams! That's what'll cheer up Berry Can Bloom. A vacation. And I have an idea how to get him one. Good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Berry King Bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well, what are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> Thank you. We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay. The Berry Bitty World Record is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. Shh, don't tell. Hello, Mr. Longface. Berry can bloom. Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes. Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. 
As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses, bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <sighs> My goodness, how catchy are these um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things, things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy. Mm, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you. Well, see you after lunch then. See, see you, Bosley. Bosley. Hello, Berry Bitty World Traveler Magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. Just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert. And that Judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay. But, but what? Remember, you're in charge. What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we gonna do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. I guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. <gasps> I know. How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record-breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh. Well, think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. Ah! Oh. Uh, Merba Ernold shoot slipper? Oh, what? Uh, the record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. <laughs> Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? <gasps> Show me. Uh, I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Sick. Sick. Oh, no. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they. Top the to get could they only if. Oh, that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on. We may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. 
Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they top the to get could they only if. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they top the to get could they only if. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what? Oh, my hair. Um, I'm having a problem with the dyes. Can I help you with something, Barry Kim Bloom? Uh, I was worried about. Uh... <laughs> uh, 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 oh, bitter berries. <laughs> Plum? <laughs> what are you uh, uh, worried about? Uh, well, uh, she. Uh, I mean, uh, that is, uh, Miss Lemon. Don't you think she's acting a bit strangely? No. But... Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh. Oh, well, if that's all it is. Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record-breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did. Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night-blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can-do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can-do spirit. Stacking can-do spirit, that is. Ha, ha, ha. That's good, because the person in charge should have can-do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Berrykin Bloom. Hey! <laughs> to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> the highest fruit tower in Berry Bitty World. Yeah, and after you win, we can eat it. You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest highest souffle idea gives me an idea too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest highest hairdo. Oh <laughs> boy, that's terrific. Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it. What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry. I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and backwards and, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and this orange has been taking her merchandise and stacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofa lupus wackyitis. Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. <laughs> Okay, time to take charge. Today's the day. You ready? Wow, you look like the world's biggest souffle. Is that good? No, 
now? That's great! Orange. Oh, hi, Bosley Bookworm. Are you off and running? Uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it then. See you later. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! The wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke! <laughs> it's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrikin. No telling how far this is going to spread. <laughs> Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Miss <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Meringue, are you in there? Huh? Oh no, wait! I'm sure I can get it as poofy as it was! Uh, poofier even! Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. I've never seen anything like this. Hi! Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. Oh, well, I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh. Oops. <laughs> well... I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh. to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnutby. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and tell uh. me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a very bitty world record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My, it is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? 
Is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had ten more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Berry Pin Bloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a goofaloop. Uh, what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. It is? Yes, it's just a comedy book full of silly made up maladies. My goodness, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface, it all worked out. Now that my Tower of Fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Berrykin Bloom's vacation with a big helping of... <laughs> Strawberry Souffle! on a winter's night, but it didn't. It didn't? <laughs> no. It happened on a winter's day. And because it was a winter's day, you might think it was cold, but it wasn't. It wasn't? No. It was as warm as spring. Everywhere you looked, winter was leaving. Now, you might think everyone would be happy, but they weren't. Oh. Town. People were sorry to see winter leave so soon. I barely get these wonderful winter fashions designed and then displayed. And no one's even tried or, or barely seen or tried them on. And now I have to take them all down. Hi, hi Raspberry. Raspberry. Oh, hi. Uh, did you come to buy some wonderful winter fashions? Well, we were looking for something a little more... Springy. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. Well, I better get busy designing my spring line. And all over town, that's how it was. The early spring caught everyone by surprise. Oh, Barry, you said your story was about winter. And it is. How can it be winter when it's warm? <laughs> well, you'll just have to be patient and see what happens. And so it was that lots of folks were sad to see winter turn warm. Lots of folks, but not everyone. Here you go. Hot chocolate? We should have ordered lemonade. Yeah, ice cold lemonade. Haven't you noticed the heat outside? <laughs> What's so wrong with an early spring? Everything. My store is overstocked with fruitcake, chestnuts, and marshmallows. I barely got to show off the new knit hat and matching scarf and mittens that Raspberry made for me. The snow melted before I ever got a chance to go sledding, or build a snowman, or play my favorite winter game, Capture the Snowman's Nose. Oh, yeah! Oh, snowman's Nose! I really love that game. You know... We might not be able to wear our mittens until next winter, but we could play Capture the Snowman's Nose now. And to do that, we'd need snowmen. Exactly. And to do that, we'd need it to snow. <laughs> not necessarily. Mm -hmm. 
So, all you gotta do is keep the juicerating confabulator turned on, keep this dial point here, flip on the freezelator like so, and presto, instant snow. Thank you, Barricade Bruce. This is great. <laughs> well, let's build our snowmen.
never had any rules. Yeah. Well, no <laughs> rules. Yes. Doesn't the referee make the rules? I was thinking it's not really fair for me to make all the decisions about what's fair for everybody else. And in Berry Bitty City, everybody's opinions get to be heard. So, what do you think the rules should be? Oh, uh -oh. oh I don't well, know. Gosh, I haven't uh, thought of any. Barricade Blue? Uh, what if the rule was simply anything that's fun? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, All right. Right. Let's yeah. do it! Yeah. Very good. Should we put it to a vote? I like yeah. it! Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. All in favor of the only rule being anything that's fun, say aye. Aye! All opposed, say nay. <laughs> the ayes have it. The rule is passed. on this side. And the other three berrykins can form a team with raspberry, orange, and lemon. Now, each team will have the same advantages. Oh, no! Look! Uh-oh. It's melting! Quick, get some more snow! Do something! Oh, there it goes. No! I'm sorry, Strawberry. It's just too warm. The snowmaking machine can't keep its cool. Thanks for trying, Berrykin Bruce. Aw. Well, that's it. Fun while it lasted. Just when we worked out the teams. <sighs> Guess we'll have to wait till next winter. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Hold on, everybody. Gather round. What if we made our snowman out of something other than snow? Oh, anybody have any ideas of what we can use to build a snowman that's white and fluffy? You mean besides mashed potatoes? <laughs> mashed potatoes! <laughs> that's it! <laughs> hey, I was joking! I'm not! <laughs> it could work! Come on, everybody! Like winter. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put away my winter fashions. Do you think it's too cold and windy to play? <laughs> yes, and it'll be getting dark soon. Let's come back in the morning. Meanwhile, hot 
chocolate for everyone at the cafe. All their carrots had mysteriously disappeared. Well, this snowman's carrots are gone too. And, and we used most of the carrots we saved in the winter storehouse for playing the game. <sighs> and it looks like winter is coming back. Aha! Gotcha! I know who our thieves are. Light on their feet, but not light enough for me. Little do they know, I've read all 120 Patty Persimmon Girl Detective novels. Or is it 130? And I can say conclusively, without a shadow of a doubt, that the culprits are absolutely, positively... Squirrels. Yes! Uh, huh? Yep, squirrel tracks. Three sets of them, it looks like. That is absolutely correct. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Squirrels can get very hungry. And three of them are three times as hungry. What if our carrots aren't enough for them? You mean, if they started eating the rest of our food? Yes. <laughs> the crops we've stocked up in case it's a bad winter. Oh, it's not going to be a bad winter. I mean... Didn't look bad yesterday. Looks like a blizzard might be brewing. Well, in that case, shouldn't we try to leave something out for them? You know, share what we have. But if the winter gets really bad, what we have might not even be enough for us. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm with Berry Can Bloom. If a big blizzard hits, our berry bitty gardens and orchards would be buried. All we'd have to eat until spring would be frozen berrysicles. I think I'm with Strawberry. Shouldn't we share? Oh, I really think we should. Sharing is what we should do. Oh, well, no, not I don't agree at hungry. all because no, we can run out. We have to. to. Yeah. Oh, since this is really important and everyone in town will have an opinion, I think we should vote. Well, all right. right. I yeah. 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 vote. Yeah. 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 This vote is for yes. And the last vote is for no. So, on the question of should we share our stores of winter food with the squirrels and other animals, the vote is... a tie! The number of yes votes and no votes are the same. Oh. oh. What, 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 what will we do? Yeah. Oh. Did everyone vote? Good. Wait, did you vote? Oh, <laughs> you're right. I was so busy taking care of this, I forgot to. <laughs> um, well, no matter which way I vote, some of you are going to be happy, and others, well, maybe not so happy. We've all talked about it. What's the best thing to do for all of us, for the whole town? We've gone over the weather predictions. We've added up how much food we have for the winter. And we've talked about, is it a good idea to give away some of what we have when we don't really know how long the winter will last? Like all of you, I... I can only vote what I think and what I feel. So on the question of should we share our stores of winter food, my vote is... yes. And if a storm comes and we run out of food, they'll never forgive me. Everybody in Berry Bitty City loves you. 
You had a right to vote for what you believed was best. You weren't the only one who voted to share our food. But I was the tiebreaker. Oh, don't worry, Strawberry. Who's that? It looks like some barricades. Oh, maybe they've come to tell me what they think of me. Well, I better face them. Good evening, everyone. Um, we've talked about it, and we've decided that you've been such a patient referee and leader, Strawberry. You respect all our different points of view, and so we'd like to ask you to be in charge of managing the rest of Berry Bitty City's food stores this winter. We think... Well, we think it would be the best thing for all of us. For the whole town. Yes, I agree. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> Well, why don't we meet here in the morning, and we'll make a plan. All right, yeah, sounds yeah, good, yeah, right there. Right. After we figure out the food situation, can we still play capture the snowman's nose? Well, I don't see why. I see. I see. <gasps> Look! Carrots were eaten. You weren't hungry? Then why? You wanted to play capture the snowman's nose? <laughs> well then! Mm. 